So this is a sweep option from the collar sleeve. To get to the collar sleeve, remember we're controlling the sleeve first. We can start to fall back, bring our feet up, and I get a hold of the collar here like this. I find this one works especially well against bigger guys or guys that have really, really strong base and they just bring everything in tight. They bring their elbows tight to their knees. This makes it tough to omoplata, makes it tough to triangle. They just feel like a really solid block. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a sweep to this side. I'm gonna change my foot from the hip to the outside of the leg here, just kind of take an outside hook. And now it's important that I wanna to try to kind of move my hips close to Gavin's foot here like this. I just kind of hop on my butt a couple times. And now I wanna block this leg here and I can start to lean to the side. I can also post my right foot and then I just give a really good yank on the collar to put him down to the ground. And now I can start to get up here. Now I have two points for a sweep. More importantly, I'm on top and I can look to pass and work from there. We always wanna get the submission, but sometimes it's not available. So I'm here, I get into position. I'm in the collar sleeve, things are going well. But he looks to kind of bring everything in tight here like this. It's tough for me to, to get anything happening, right? But if I block this leg and move over, he has no post available to the side. I have the arm and the leg. So I can start to yank the collar. If you need extra base, put that foot on the ground. And now it's gonna be quite tough, even if he tries to really maintain his base and keep his balance. I can just knock him over easily. And then I keep the collar to pull myself up. And now you can kind of choose your next attack from here. Knee cut, teams up really nicely with that sweep. Control on the sleeve, get a hand in the collar, feet go into the hip. Or I could just land the feet first, then find the collar. The reaction he gives is to stay really tight and ball, really, ball up really hard. So it's tough for me to, to attack on plata. So I can start to move my hips, block the leg, and now I post and I give a good yank on the collar to put him down. Then I turn to my knees and get up, just trying to make sure that I have some weight on top of him so I can actually hold him down. He doesn't just bounce away. So we want to end up in this position. What you really want to get comfortable with in jiu-jitsu is chaining attacks together. That's when you're going to start to really see yourself progress. So you don't want to get too tunnel vision on one technique. If I just have the triangle and he doesn't give me the triangle, he's going to find a way to counter me. So I want to be comfortable going omoplata, going into the triangle, going into the sweep here. None of the moves are overly complicated, but it's more just about being able to chain them together effectively. So that's a really good series to learn and a good open guard to learn, especially if you're starting out, if you feel overwhelmed by all the moves that are out there in jiu-jitsu, I think collar sleeve is a great place to start out.